Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the some important questions for mid one examination. So let's see what are the long answer questions you need to read for the mid first mid examinations. There are some long answers you need to read. First one is state and verify Kirchhoff's voltage law. That is KVL. First, you need to explain what is the statement of the KVL. After that, by taking one example problem, you have to verify Kirchhoff's voltage law. Next one is state and verify Kirchhoff's current law. That is KCL. For this also, first you need to explain neatly about the statement. After explaining that, you need to take one example problem and you have to verify KCL. Next one, explain about the various sources. There are various sources are there that is dependent source, independent source and ideal sources and practical sources. You need to explain neatly with the diagrams and definitions and types and examples. These are the things you need to explain for this question. Next, if we take one more question, fourth one, derive delta to star and star to delta transformation. This, deriv this is the derivation start delta to star and start to delta transformation. Next, explain the VA relationship of passive elements. So what are the passive elements? Resistor, inductor and capacitors are the passive elements. You have to explain the VA relationship of the resistor, inductor and capacitor. Next, so you have to practice all the problems based on the series and parallel connection. That is the network reduction technique. Okay, they will give one circuit. So they will ask find the total equivalent resistance. The problems related to series and parallel you need to study. Next, the problems based on the mesh analysis and nodal analysis. Okay, they will give one circuit and they will ask you to find the resistor or voltage across any one of the resistor that you need to uh, use mesh analysis or nodal analysis. If they don't mention the method name, you can use any one of the method. If they will mention the method name, you have to solve that particular uh, problem by using that method only. Next, the problems based on star connection and the delta connection. These are the some questions. Now we will discuss some more questions. Explain the average value, RMS value and form factor and peak factor of half-wave rectifier and full-wave rectifier and square wave and triangular, triangular wave. For these waveforms, you need to find out the average value, RMS value, form factor and peak factor. With neat definitions, you have to explain and you have to derive the equations. Next question. Explain the behavior of AC through pure resistive circuit, inductive circuit, and capacitive circuit. With neat phasor diagrams, you have to explain this question. Next, explain the behavior of AC through RL series circuit, next RC series circuit, and RLC series circuit. They will ask you separately. RL series circuit is a one question, RC series circuit is a one more question, and RLC series circuit. Okay, you have to explain with neat phasor diagrams and triangles, different types of triangles and power triangle, voltage triangle, impedance triangle and like that. You have to explain neatly this for this question. Next one is state and explain about the reciprocity theorem, superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem and maximum power transfer theorem. So there are total five theorems. For these five theorems, you have to take your own circuit. If the question is like that, if they give the circuit, you have to verify that particular uh, uh, theorem by using that given circuit only. If they don't give the circuit, you have to take your own circuit with neatly, you have to write the statement and pay, by taking one example problem, you have to verify each and every theorem. So there are total five theorems. There are five different questions. These are the. These theorems are very, very important. Next, write the advantages of three-phase system over the single-phase system. There are many advantages are there. So you have to write the what are the advantages of three-phase system over the single-phase system. Next question is, 
write the voltage current and power relationships for three phase balanced star connected load for this question you have to draw the delta connect star connected load uh, diagram after that phasor diagram from from that phasor diagram uh, you have to relate the relationship between line voltage and the phase voltage and the line current and the phase current and the what are the power equation with respect to phase voltage phase currents and the line voltage line currents next question write the voltage and current and power relationships for three phase balanced delta connected load this is the delta connected load for the delta connected load you have to draw the diagram and uh, with phasor diagram you have to uh, derive the equation uh, relationships for line voltage and phase voltage and the line current and the phase current and the power equation with respect to phase voltage and phase current and the line voltage and line current these are the some uh, long answers let's see the short answer questions define active and passive elements you have to define what is active element and what is passive element and after that you have to write the examples so for each and every question you need to draw the diagram without diagram you will not get the marks next write the statement of kcl and kvl for this also you have to write the statements with neat diagrams kcl statement as well as kvl kirchhoff's current line kirchhoff's voltage law next question is what is the what is dependent source and write the types of dependent sources and what are the types you have to write first what is dependent source and after that what are the types you have in the dependent sources that you need to write next question is what is independent source and write the what are the different types of independent sources are there next question what is source transformation technique what is source transformation technique the converting one source to other source is called as source transformation technique you need to write what is source transformation technique with neat diagrams next what is current division rule and the voltage division rule so this is also by taking one example or uh, by taking one diagram you, you have to explain and you have to write the formulas for this next what is defined ohm's law you have to uh, define ohm's law by taking one sample circuit and the different equations what is ideal and practical sources so what is the first we need to write what is ideal source and whatever what is practical source and what are the different ideal sources and practical sources you have to write next we will discuss define uh, next question is define average value rms value form factor and peak factor next one is draw the phasor diagrams for pure resistive circuit and inductive circuit and capacitive circuit for this you have to draw the phasor diagrams next question is draw the phasor diagrams of rl and rc and rlc series circuits next one is define impedance reactance admittance susceptance and the conductance you have to define each and every parameter and you have to write the units also for this next to define active power reactive power and the total power there are three powers you have to define each and every power next what is power factor next write the statements of reciprocity theorem superposition theorem thevenin's theorem norton's theorem and maximum power transfer theorem they will ask you the statements of the each and every theorem okay and they will ask any one of the theorem statement for the statement you have to write neatly and you have to draw the diagram compulsory for each and every theorem just you have to write the statement for the theorem next if you see some more questions write the advantages of three phase system over single phase system for this question they will ask write any three or four advantages or any two advantages of three phase system over single phase as it is a short answer question next question is write the phase and line voltage and phase and line current relationship equation for the three phase balanced star connected load for this question just you have to write the uh, equations what are the equations we got relationships the line voltage and the 
phase voltage relationship equation and the line current and the phase current relationship that you need to just you have to write the relationships not the derivation here also you need to this is the ocean write the phase and line voltage and the phase and line current relationships equation for three phase balance with delta connected load and for the delta connected load also what are the relations between these two and what are the relation between these two just you have to write the equation relationship you have to write in this next to write the power equations in terms of phase voltage and phase currents and the line voltage and line currents of a three phase balanced star connected load for the star connected load you have to write the form uh, power formulas here also write the power equations in terms of phase voltage and the phase currents and the line voltage and line currents of a three phase balanced to delta connected load for this question also you have to write the power equation in terms of line voltage and line currents and the phase voltage and phase currents and these are the some questions first you need to uh, read all these questions after that practice all the problem what are the problems are there you have to practice this okay thank you everyone